Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm down at the Players Club in Bristol. This place looks absolutely amazing, so I thought we'd start off on the front nine of the Codrington and have a little how low can I go on the front nine. I'm going to play off the white tees, which for any Americans watching are kind of our competition tees really. Typically men would play off the yellows, women off reds. But I'm going to play off the whites, try and challenge myself a little bit. But I have been making some swing changes as well, so this could be really, really interesting and also could be really, really bad. So comment below how low do you think I'm going to shoot now and we'll see how we go through the nine. This first par four is 380 yards just straight down here. Looks absolutely beautiful. This whole entire golf course looks stunning. So here we are set up on the first hole. I'm just hitting a three wood. Not a long hole, 380 or so. Just trying to hit a little cut, aiming up to the left. Fade it back a little bit. Unfortunately, I just kind of smashed it dead straight. It was pretty fortunate, just got a bounce. Only had about a pitching wedge in, but did not get a good strike on it. Just kind of leaking a little bit short and right, leaving me this kind of fairly simple little chip and run up here. The greens were a little bit quicker than I was expecting, so ran that by a few feet, but these greens are so pure, I was able to hit a really good putt there. Okay, par on the first, now on to the second. We've got this par three, 172 yards. Absolutely beautiful looking hole. Flag, middle, back of the green. Let's see how we get on. So here we are set up, I'm hitting, I think it was a seven iron here, and really good strike, but just started it just a touch too far right. Just leaked it kind of just right at the green, leaving me this, it's not a difficult chip, kind of onto a down slope, a little bit right to left. Just left it a tiny bit short. Once again, just able to make a really good solid putt. Okay, par par start to fairly easy up and downs you'd kind of expect to, but two good putts hold as well. We're on the third hole now. It is 388 yards straight down here. Looks like a pretty tough hole, not very long, but you can see you've got water left. You've got water long of the fairway to water short of the green. Beautiful looking hole. But yeah, looks pretty difficult. I mentioned I'd been doing some swing changes and here's a good look at my swing with a hybrid on this short kind of par four. Well, not that short. I was hitting a six iron in again. This wasn't quite as good a swing. I just leaked it a bit right. It wasn't bad though. I was kind of unlucky to be left this. I thought I hit a pretty good putt, but this went a long, long way past and broke a long way left and unfortunately wasn't able to make the par putt. So onto the fourth hole now, 177 yard par three. Absolutely beautiful looking hole between these trees here. Pot bunkers right at the front of the green. Disappointing three putt on the last after kind of fighting my way to stay at level par. Let's see if maybe we can get one back. Now this was a really nice shot here. Again, seven iron, didn't leak this one right. Straight down the flag stick and just short of the green, unfortunately. Just leaked the putt a little bit right, but really good for pace. Now onto the par five. Okay, one over through four holes. Pretty solid start, especially considering I haven't actually technically hit a green yet. Now we're onto the fifth hole here, which is a par five, about 500 and something yards. And I've never played this course before. I have no idea where I'm going. I can see a kind of aim post in the middle of the fairway up there, but don't really know where the miss is. So let's see if we can get that shot back, make a birdie here, finish under par. Now, if you haven't played this hole before, it is kind of difficult. Blind tee shots, third shots, and everything. Hit a reasonable drive, just pushed it a little bit right, still on the fairway, just knocked an eight iron down there. By the way, guys, throughout this round, I am gonna be using my new Motocaddy M5 GPS. It looks absolutely awesome, and it gives me all of the yardages I need and everything. So special thanks to Motocaddy and check out this absolutely beautiful trolley.
just hit my third shot into this par five. It's completely blind. I have absolutely no idea. There's a little bit wind into, so I decided to take an eight iron, punch one down. It's only about 145 to, to the middle of the green, so I'm just absolutely guessing. I have no idea where the flag was as well. So let's, let's get up here and see where it is. Okay, onto the sixth hole, par four, 404 yards. It's another blind tee shot, unfortunately. So I don't really know what's down there. Probably just hit a hybrid just to be safe. Pretty happy with how things are going at the moment. One over par around a course I've never played before that has quite a few blind shots and areas that I'm not really sure where to go. So overall, I'd definitely take this at this stage. So fair warning on this hole, I actually only hit one good shot on the entire hole. The f these first two were not good shots. From bunker to the second bunker here on the right and well, made up for it with this little shot here and just a little tap in for par. Well, that was unbelievably lucky to get out of there with a the par from bunker to bunker. Onto the seventh, we've got about 300 30 yards short par four it looks like. It's kind of another blind tee shot. The hole's just around to the right. So we've got three holes left. One over par still. By the way, shout out to Birdies for Rhinos. Um, amazing charity that works with Rhino Conservation South Africa. I'll put the website link down in the description below. If you guys can, please go donate because it means a lot and it's an absolutely amazing cause. Back to the golf. I really do like this hole. It's just a short par four, four iron off the tee. Only had a little pitching wedge in for my second, sent it straight at the flag stick and... Okay, so I can't really see the pin too well or my ball because it's right in the shadow, but I absolutely striped that straight at the pin. Have not hit a better iron shot for a while, so let's get up here, see how close it is. See if we can get back to level par and finish. Maybe even under par. Well, it's taken a while, but finally my first birdie of the round. Let's see if we can make another one through these last two holes, only two holes to go. Who thinks I can finish under par? What do you think the finishing score will be? Let's see how we do. We've got the eighth hole here, slightly longer, par four, straight down this way. I can just about see the green in the distance. Pretty narrow looking hole though. It's gonna have to hit a good tee shot. I absolutely ripped that drive and got an absolutely amazing slow motion shot of it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. By the way, guys, I do want to say a massive, massive thank you to the Players Club down here in Bristol for having me to film. It's absolutely amazing. It's actually blown away all my expectations of what this place was going to be like. So if you guys haven't played it before, or maybe you've heard of it, or maybe you have played it a long time ago, because it's not an old course at all. I think it was built in 2002 or something, but everywhere you look here, it's absolutely beautiful. If we look up here at the green on the eighth hole, just absolutely stunning. Back down the fairway really is amazing. They've got two courses here and a nine hole par three. So anywhere like that is worth a, a full day out. And also amazing practice facilities, amazing grass range, which you really don't see very often in England, especially in this area. Well, that's a very disappointing bogey, but it was pretty deserved. Average chip. I mean, it was a good putt, just lift out. But here we are on the ninth, and it's a par five, so chance of getting one back. Par five, 500 yards. You can see the green down there in the distance. Let's see 
if we can either get back to level, maybe even make an eagle, get to one under. This ninth hole is a really beautiful hole. I didn't play it to my best. I just hit the tee shot a bit right, but you do want to miss it a little bit right if you're gonna miss it on one side. I just found the bunker. Still wasn't too bad though. I just had, I think, a pitching wedge out. And then that just left me with something like another pitching wedge for my third shot. I just blocked it a little bit right and this green is absolutely huge. Check out this absolutely monster of a putt for birdie. Well, that's a one over par front nine at the Players Club here in Bristol. And well, I'd definitely take that. That's not a bad, not a bad score in this course at all. Playing off the whites, first time I've played it, and I really, really did absolutely love this course. Just look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. So make sure to check this place out, guys. Massive thanks to them again. Make sure to check out Birdies for Rhinos as well. Really worthwhile cause. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Look forward to some more content coming from this place. See you guys soon.